Hi there, this is a training video session by GG Technologies. From this training session you can understand how to configure permission level in SharePoint 2010. The permission level determines the level up to which an object can be accessed by a user, such as read, write, full control etc. In our previous training session, we dealt with assigning a predefined permission level to an user. In this session, I will show you how to create a custom permission level, how to assign the custom permission level to an user, how to check the user permissions in a site. To configure the site permissions, you should be either a member of site collection administrators group or site owners group, else you should be assigned with the permission name manage permission. First let us create a custom permission level. In the website, click Site Actions and select Site Settings. In the Site Settings page, under Users and Permissions, click Site Permissions. Then, in the Manage section of the ribbon, press Permission Levels and then click Add a Permission Level. Now in the Add a Permission Level page, provide the name for your new permission level. Here, I provide the name as all but delete. Then type the description for your new permission level. In the list of permissions, select the check boxes to add permissions to the permission level. Here I select all check boxes except delete items. Therefore, the groups and users assigned with this permission level can perform all actions except deleting the items in the document libraries within this site. Finally, click create. Now let's assign our custom permission level to an user. For that, I create a group. Since we have already explained about group creation in our previous training, here, I make a fast forward to the final stage of group creation, which is the permission assigning part. Here, I assign my custom permission level to my group. Let's add a an user to this group. I select my group and press New. Then I enter the username and press OK. Now this new user inherits the group's permission. Let's check the user permission in this site. To check the user permission in the site permissions page, spot check section of the ribbon and press check permissions. Here, I enter the name of the user just created by me. Now you can clearly see the permission level assigned to this user. To make it more lively, I log in as the newly created user to the SharePoint site. Now I click the shared documents in which I expand the properties of an uploaded file. You can clearly notice that delete option is not available. We hope that this training session on configuring permission level in SharePoint 2010 made your task simple and interesting. We feel happy in providing you with the training on how to configure permission level in SharePoint 2010. For queries, feel free to contact us at guruji at ggtech.com. In our forthcoming training session you can check out how to install SharePoint 2010. Looking forward to serve you better. Thank you.